Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I wanted to share with you an easy way to make pressed roses or dried roses as I used to call them. So first I'm going to be using this white roses. Then I'm just going to be keeping what I want and taking out what I don't want. Then I'm going to be using a big napkin. I'm going to be cutting this in half. And now it's the time to use that heavy thick book that you never use. So I'm just going to be opening this towards the end of the book so most weight is on the top if that makes sense i'm going to be placing my napkin with my rose in there and i'm going to be opening the petals like so i just want this to be open until i see the middle part and just arrange the rose as you want to dry then cover it with the other napkin and then just close the book this is why i chose to work with the back of the book so most weight presses the flower and i'm gonna let this be for about three weeks Later. And I'm going to take my rose away and this is what it looks like. I made a bunch of them because it's a, a memory for recent events that my family went through. So I want to keep the memories with these roses, but in a nice way. I just want to share this idea because I think roses and just nature or flowers, they look pretty cute pressed. They can turn into a nostalgic memory if you want to leave them like this. And you can. I think they look pretty cute. But I'm going to be uh, going further because the petals and the uh, leaves are pretty delicate. They almost break if you look at them. So I'm just going to be adding some white glue to just make them stronger. Just because I want to add like a, a shine to it. I'm just going to be giving this two or three coats. I don't want them too shiny, but I want them to, you know, to last as they age. Some of this, I'm going to be giving this to family members, but stay tuned to see what I do with the rest. I'm not sharing anything new here. I'm just sharing how I did this super easy. But yeah, I really hope this was helpful and you liked it. If you did, don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Check out more easy DIYs at home on my channel. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of this one and share this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye.